Hi guys, this is Ryan with How To's and Reviews. Today we're continuing our series on tips and tricks for iMovie. Right now I'm going to show you two great ways to create a new iMovie library to store your videos in. Okay, we're going to begin by opening iMovie from our doc. The simplest method is to go up to File, and here you click on, or you mouse over, Open Library. Here you can see three iMovie libraries that I've made. To make another, you simply go to the New tag, and you click. Here it gives you an opportunity to customize the iMovie library name. I recommend that because as you're going to have more libraries to work with, you want something a simple way to differentiate between them. Then you can also select exactly where you'd like it to go. If you need more options, you click on the drop down menu. Personally, I like to put these on my external drive. So we're going to select that, and there we go. So now we have a new iMovie library. When we go back in, we can click here and we can see one. In this case, I did not change the name, but you can see that we've added a new library right here. Now the second method is also very valuable, a little bit different, but I'm going to show you that one now. We're going to close out of iMovie, we're going to go back down to the dock. This time when we mouse over the iMovie icon, we're going to hold down the Option key while we click on the icon. We're going to hold that down until this window appears. And what this window is showing us is it shows us all of our libraries. And so here we have the four libraries, including the one that we just created. There's some more helpful information here that we don't see elsewhere. And that is, for example, we see when we last used each of these libraries. Also, we um, have some helpful information as to exactly where they are. So for example, three of these libraries are on my external hard drive and one is on the internal drive. So it just provides some additional information to help you um, keep them straight, keep them organized, know where they are. I can go here and click New. And just like the other option, I have the opportunity to change or modify the name, choose the location, and go ahead and select that now. I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And there you have it. Now you've got your new iMovie library. Now I should add one more tip here because now that you have at least two or more libraries, how do you switch between them? What's the best way to switch between them? Well, there's a couple of ways that Apple has provided. They don't all work equally. And so I'm going to show you a couple of the pitfalls and how to make them work better. So when you click on the iMovie and you you open it by default, it's going to open the last library that you were using. So if you go up here to File, and you can go to Open Library, and you can choose another one from the menu. So for example, I click this here, and here you see the 2016 library. Um, now, one of the challenges though, is that once you have these libraries open and you're trying to toggle between them, sometimes it gets a little bit glitchy and you tell it to go and change, and it just doesn't do it. Let's see if we can uh, enact that here just for a second. Okay, so here's the 2016 library. I go up here, and I'm going to try to switch to the old movie library. Well, it just didn't do it. Nothing changed. I go back, try again, nothing changed. So sometimes you do have that problem. Now, in my opinion, the best way to switch between libraries is to come back down here to iMovie, hold the Option key again, and when you see this window, then you can choose from all the libraries available which one you want. Most of the time, you're probably going to be using just one library. For example, I plan on using uh, the 2017 library for the duration of the year, and then just occasionally referring back to my older libraries when I need to find something. So. Um, this is not going to be a, a routine uh, challenge. It will remember and open by default the last library you were using. So, But this is the simplest way that I know of 
to switch between the libraries using the option key. Uh, one of the great features I love about using the option key here as well is that it shows you the directory of exactly which folders each library is in. And so you can track them down. Anyhow, guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like it, go ahead and leave me a comment, a thumbs up down below. And be sure to check out our other videos on tips and tricks for iMovie. Hope you have a wonderful day.